Every 60 seconds, a luxury Mercedes glides off the line at factory 56. S-Class, Maybach or electric EQS. This high-tech plant cost over 730 million euros and set a new benchmark in car making. Inside, the group is now building its luxury sedans 25% more efficiently than in the old hall next door. In Sindelfingen, near Stuttgart, Germany, stands Factory 56, one of the most advanced car factories on Earth. Covering 220,000 miles squared, about 30 fully-sized soccer fields, it was built over 2.5 years at 730 million euros. Just imagine a factory built for the future today. Inside, 2,000 skilled humans work side by side with dozens of robots and hundreds of driverless transport vehicles called FTFs. Together, they form a super efficient, tightly connected production network. This is Industry 4.0 in motion, machines and people linked by real-time data, sensors, smart tools, and the fastest industrial network in the world. What makes Factory 56 special is its flexibility. On one assembly line, it builds combustion-powered S-Class luxury Maybox and fully electric EQS limousines. Now, normally, you'd need separate lines for each. Here, with clever scheduling and modern layout, all emerge from the same line. That's why Mercedes calls it full flex production, maximum adaptability with minimum downtime. The design of Factory 56 also makes people central. Daylit workspaces, ergonomic tools, digital assistance, and strong safety measures reduce strain and accidents. It's a human-first factory, merging digital power with real-world value. But what exactly happens inside this futuristic bubble? Every journey begins with steel. Rolls of steel or aluminum enter Factory 56 and are sent to a laser blinking machine. This high-tech cutter uses lasers to slice flat sheets with millimeter precision, capable of cutting up to 100 meters per minute and producing about 12,000 base plates a day. That's nearly 72 kilometers of raw panels. After cutting, panels travel to the massive servo transfer press, one of the largest in the world, 110 meters long, 25 meters wide, 12 meters tall, and clad with a 2,500-ton force press. Inside, one scrap of flat metal becomes a beautifully formed body part. Doors, roof, hood, or side panel with six stamping steps all in a row. The press can make 900 side panels per hour, each part a precise piece from a complex puzzle. Each panel is inspected by trained specialists. Even tiny cracks or deviations are caught early. This attention to detail ensures the rest of the process builds on perfection, not correction. Next, the parts move to the body shop where over 1,000 robots weld, rivet, and laser weld mixed steel and aluminum. Each robot is programmed via smart software that knows which S-Class, EQS, or Maybach it's building and adjusts its moves. Even human workers here focus on quality control, watching, maintaining, and repairing when needed. The body that emerges is both strong and lightweight. A safety cocoon engineered to protect people at speeds of up to 250 kilometers per hour. Mercedes Safety Innovations, from ABS in 1978 to airbags in the 1980s, made this shell legendary. The chassis reflects decades of crash test research and innovation. With a strong skeleton in place, the car gets dressed in paint and interiors. Next stop, a cathodic drip coating, or KTL. The skeleton is submerged in a bath of electrically charged primer. The result is a rust-proof base that coats every edge, every seam, like invisible armor forged by physics. This process is sustainable too. Leftover paint is recycled, and baths rarely need renewing. From there, the car heads into the robotic paint booth, where it receives three layers, primer, base coat, and clear coat. The system is smart, able to paint up to 28 different color shades and flowing batches via ring-fed paint pipes. Though complex, it remains precise. Unlike older systems that had to be shut down for color change, 
This one fluidly swaps shades with no waste. After the paint job, the body cruises through a funnel oven to bake the coating. Then it enters the LED inspection tunnel, which highlights every flaw under perfect light. Workers armed with paint thickness meters and trained eyes spot issues. If anything feels off, the car is sent back. Once polished, the body moves forward for interior and acoustic work. Robots spray acoustic foam in hidden cavities to block road noise. Factory 56 also handles custom Maybach two-tone paints and EQS interiors customized with care. Unlike high-speed production, this is craftsmanship with robots, art meets tech. The cockpit modules are next, complete with dash panels with screens, HUDs, and wiring, assembled separately. They travel on FTFs and arrive at the right car pre-configured. Workers connect them and install them in well under two minutes. Data labels on parts ensure the right parts go to the right vehicles. Behind all this, there's a digital ballot. Over 400 autonomous robots to move parts, dashboard seats, and glass around the factory. Real-time tracking ensures nothing sits idle, speeding up production and reducing waste. At this point, the body is painted and the cockpit is in place, but it's still not a car. The next step brings the power in, literally. The car now arrives at the full flex barrage station. The name kind of says it all. The body is brought together with its powertrain. Whether it's a combustion engine, hybrid unit, or electronic drivetrain, the same line handles it. A hydraulic lift raises the chassis up. Two workers position it under the body and connect major components by hand. Underneath, automatic bolt robots secure the chassis, all within 60 seconds. After this, the doors go back on, the seats are added, and the steering wheel is clicked into place. Next comes exterior features, lights, bonnet, and emblem. The legendary three-pointed star is attached in a precision spot, the symbols of Mercedes quality. Every fixture is checked, every door aligned with millimeter accuracy using feeler gauges. And now comes a critical LED quality tunnel. Humans and scanners examine every inch, paint surface, panel gaps, trim alignment, all of it, to ensure showroom perfect precision. If any detail is off, it's flagged and corrected. After visual checks, cars go to the test polygon, the short track outside the plant with bumps, curves, and varied road surfaces. Each car spends about 12 minutes there, testing brakes, steering, noise levels, wipers, horn, and ride comfort. Test drivers log any issues. The car is fixed, if there are any, and then it's retested as needed. Then the car is filled with fluids, coolant, brake fluid, wiper fluid, by specialized stations. Fuel is added last because it poses a fire risk too early in the line. Finally, the car moves to delivery prep, washed, wrapped in protective plastic, and driven out. It leaves Factory 56 ready to take on the road and reach customers around the world. Factory 56 makes over 900,000 cars a year. Thanks to its smart flow, flexible layout, and digital systems, it's now the lead production site for Mercedes, pushing the brand into the future. From flat steel plates to fully blessed luxury sedans built in under 25 hours, a car made in Factory 56 is more than transportation. It's a proof of engineering, sustainability, flexibility, and craftsmanship. This is a blueprint for how factories of tomorrow have to operate. Blending precision robots, smart tools, human care, and sustainability under one digital roof. That's how a secret billion euro dream built cars better than the rest and shaped the future.